Today, I'm going to talk about fluvial dynamics and how the conditions at the mouth of a river can change when it reaches the sea. And for this, I'm going to take advantage of an example that I have very close at hand, here in San Sebastian, the Urumea River. Today has been a very calm, almost windless day. The river arrives calm, without any appreciable suspended sediments, because it hasn't rained much for several days. If we look at the first bridge, the coarser bridge, at the mouth, we see how a small wave forms where the masses of seawater and the river come together. Do you see that there are some waves in the background? But the Urumea River is not always so calm, nor do the waves reach just below the first bridge. Sometimes, in the event of high tide and some swell, the waves can even cross the third bridge, the Maria Cristina Bridge. And when we change banks, we look at the river from the left bank, we can observe a typically February day in which there is low pressure, so the high tide is even higher, and the waves hit the third bridge. They lose a little energy, but they are able to continue to continue upstream of the river and even practically go off the upper part of the river channeling within, within the city. Impressive, right?